India has secured rights to operate the Sitwe port in Myanmar. India and Philippines held talks on the procurement of Dhruv helicopters, swiftly raising expectations of an imminent deal between the two nations. India and Brazil are exploring co-development and production of up to two dozen defense equipment. Soldiers from the Indian Army's Central Command are undergoing training to operate the recently introduced AK-203 rifle. Latest reports indicate that the Apache pilots encountered loss of power before landing, resulting in damage to the Indian Air Force helicopter in Ladakh last week. The DRDO has started integration of high-endurance autonomous underwater vehicle with Carrier 1, suggesting that the drones can be deployed from larger vessels for anti-submarine operations and mine countermeasures. Tato Advanced Systems Limited has announced the successful launch and deployment of India's first private sector built submeter resolution Earth Observation Military Grade Satellite by SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The navies of India and Japan have successfully concluded a joint anti submarine naval exercise in Japan. Greek military chief Dimitrios Choupis held talks with the chief of defense staff as the country eyes the BrahMos anti-ship missile batteries to counter Turkish warships. Adani Defense is working to increase domestic participation in its Drishti 6 tactical UAV program, which is a localized Hermes 450, that will soon be offered to the Army and Air Force for evaluation purposes. India's AMCA program is facing a hurdle in attracting private sector participation, mainly due to concerns over risk sharing. The AMCA is led by the Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, and this structure leaves private companies with minimal control over the development process, hindering their ability to mitigate risks. That includes delays in development, which can significantly impact the project's return on investment for private companies, cost overruns, as it directly eats into private sector profits, and technological shortcomings, as it might not generate the projected demand if it falls short of its performance goals. Private companies are more inclined to participate in the AMCA program as part of the established supply chain, that allows them to contribute their expertise in manufacturing specific components, while limiting their exposure to the overall development risks. As part of Mach 7 capable BrahMos 2 next generation hypersonic cruise missile project, India is collaborating with Russia on critical areas like heat shields, aerodynamics of hypersonic flight, high temperature structures, and the development of a scramjet propulsion engine, and the 600 km range prototypes will be ready for testing within the next five years. India will also test its indigenous Mach 6 capable HSTDV for a longer duration this year, that will serve as a crucial test bed for developing long range hypersonic cruise missiles. The proposed Super Shukhoi upgradation program will keep Su-30 aircraft operational until the mid-2050, and the Air Force anticipates achieving 78% indigenization of the aircraft through this upgrade process, that would essentially transform the Su-30 from a Russian platform into an aircraft built and maintained largely by India. Gas turbine research establishment is also developing indigenous upgrades for the AL-31F engine that powers the Su-30, which is already made by HAL with 87.7% of the engine's components sourced within India. Today's Top 3 Comments